Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. In today's episode, I wanted to talk to you about a very popular question I get, and that is, how do I know that all the bed bugs are gone? Say you had an infestation at home, you've had it treated, you think the problem's gone, but how do you know for sure that it's gone? You know, a lot of people get these bugs, and, and once you deal with this bug, things never quite appear the same way to you. You know, where you have bites and reactions and red marks on your arms, your face, wherever, and you never look at things the same way. You always wonder, you know, did a bed bug cause that? Do I still have a problem? Did they come back? And so, when it comes to determining if the bugs are in fact gone, unfortunately there's no direct answer that I can give you. This is what you do, and if it doesn't come back positive, the bugs are gone. There's nothing I can say that will be 100%. But there are a couple things that you can keep in mind that will help you determine if they are in fact gone. And the first and probably most important thing is what we at Bedbug Central use to determine if an infestation's gone. And that is 50 to 60 days without bugs or bites. And so say you have two treatments done, at the end of the second treatment, nobody finds any bed bugs. What we want to see is we want to see 50 to 60 days where nobody finds a bed bug and nobody's bitten by a bed bug. And that is a good way to determine if, you know, the problem is probably gone. And the reason we use that 50 to 60 days is because we know that bugs feed about every 7 to 10 days. And the eggs will hatch about every 10 days as well. But what can happen when you apply pesticides is that can slightly change that schedule, meaning that a bed bug can send some pesticide and not come out and feed as frequently as it would normally. And so the pesticide just seems to be changing their behavior some, in some way, shape, or form. And so we say 50 to 60 days because it allows time for the bugs to go about their natural behaviors, even if they are affected by, say, pesticide exposure, possibly come out over the course of that and feed and hopefully then you react and you'll see those bites and you'll know you still have a problem. But if you go 50 to 60 days, don't see any bugs, don't receive any bites, that's a good first indication that your problem may in fact be gone. Now obviously there are some complicating factors, you know, if you don't react to bed bugs and you found them some other way, obviously you can't use that. And in some of these other situations, or if you want to use other things to help you determine if the bugs are gone, there are some monitors that you can use to help you determine that one of which are your different interception devices. These go under the legs of beds and couches and will catch bugs as they travel to and from the bed. And so you can install these during treatment or after treatment's done. And if you don't collect bugs in these over a given time, that will also help you to